Hey guys, I'm Dustin, and today I'm gonna to tell you everything you need to know about buying a beach cruiser. Stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna to tell you everything you need to know about buying a beach cruiser, but before I do that, hit the subscribe button below and stay in touch with us here at 630. All right, so you're looking for a beach cruiser bike and you wanna know everything there is to know about beach cruisers. I'm here to tell it to you. So beach cruisers are awesome. They're a very traditional style of bike. They've been around for a long time. Tended to have a lot of popularity, a lot of popularity by the beach, by the lake, cruising around town, things of that nature. But they've also gained a lot of popularity just as a regular bike. People ride around anywhere because the reality of a beach cruiser is it's just called a beach cruiser. It doesn't mean that you know you can only ride it by the beach, obviously. What really um, distinguishes a beach cruiser is a couple factors um, in regards to the design. Number one is a balloon tire. Now in the traditional sense of a beach cruiser, you're gonna have a balloon tire, typically two inches and above is what fits into the category of a cruiser tire. Um, it's fatter, it's wider. It's something that's gonna provide you with a more cushy ride, so you're not gonna feel the vibrations. The idea of a cruiser is obviously comfort, cruising. And so with this fatter balloon tire, it's gonna absorb a lot of the vibrations as you go up and down curbs, you ride over bumps, things of that nature. In addition to the balloon tires, you tend to have a swooping handlebar, a curved handlebar, a little bit wider than a you know, mountain bike handlebar where you're here. On a cruiser handlebar, you're gonna be somewhere like here. It's gonna keep your arms relaxed, your shoulders relaxed. Um, it's gonna feel different than hybrid bikes and road bikes. But again, it's supposed to be more of a comfort ride with the handlebars curving in to your body. Now, in addition to that is also the frame design. Typically, cru cruisers have a very distinguishable appearance. It's a swooping, curved frame, very elegant, beautiful, nice um, flowing curves. It's not gonna be boxy. Traditionally with cruisers, um, you see curve in the frame, dip, dipping in the frame. You know, a mountain bike, road, road bike, hybrid bike, you tend to see a traditional triangle frame. Cruisers look different in that way with the curves, the lines. In my opinion, they're um, aesthetically more pleasing and they just have a lot more um, uh, going on with the frame that gives it just a, just a different appearance. Whereas most other bikes are the traditional triangle frame, very simple, straightforward, designed more for efficiency and performance uh, than for the actual look. Now, in addition to the appearance of the frame, you're also gonna have a certain riding position. Cruisers in general provide an ergonomic upright riding position. Tends to put the rider in a position where they don't have to lean forward. Other bike types like mountain bikes, hybrid bikes, again, geared more for performance, you're gonna be leaning forward. It's gonna put more strain on your back and your shoulders. A cruiser is gonna keep you upright, keep you riding nice with your head up, your shoulders up in theory should reduce the amount of pain you feel during and after a ride. Now, one other traditional sense of a cruiser has been coaster brakes. And what I mean by coaster brakes is you pedal backwards to stop the bike. This is how cruisers developed you know, many years ago in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Nowadays, cruisers have evolved to include all types of um, brakes, including handbrakes. Also, it could be a combination of a coaster brake and a handbrake. So if you're out there looking for a cruiser, just know it doesn't have to be a coaster brake. It could be handbrakes. Now that's the modern take on the cruiser, the evolution of the cruiser. But if you're looking for a traditional cruiser in the sense, then you could go with the uh, coaster brake. In addition to that is the speed options. A lot of people, when they think of cruisers and the traditional sense of a cruiser, is they think of a single speed. Again, in this day and age now, cruisers are available in single, three, seven, and 21 speed options. So if you're looking for the most traditional type of cruiser, you'd opt for something with the balloon tires, swooping handlebars, the curved frame, and probably a single speed coaster brake. The evolution of cruisers now has, you still can get the swooping frame, the swooping handlebars, the balloon tires, but if you want a seven speed and you want handbrakes, those options do exist. And that's just gonna expand the possibilities of, cruiser, of a cruiser ride for you. You can go farther, um, you can take on hills now 
Whereas, you know, back when cruisers were single speed coaster brake, it was a lot harder to use those to go on longer rides and tackle hills. Now, if you're out there shopping in the marketplace about cruisers, what do you need to know? You know, typically cruisers now are ranging in prices from 99 up to about, um, you know, they could be up to $1,000, but I think the sweet spot is somewhere in that two to $500 range really depends on what your needs are, how many speeds you're looking for, what kind of performance you're looking to get out of it, but you can get a really great cruiser for, you know, 300 to 400 bucks, um, even $200. Actually, 630, we have an amazing cruiser, the Around the Block. It's available in 10 different colors. You can get it in single speed coaster brake. You can get it in three speed with handbrakes, seven speed with handbrakes, also 21 speeds. So we've evolved our cruisers so they can, um, like I said, do all types of riding. You don't just have to be limited to the flat ground by the beach uh, type of riding. In addition, we have 10 colors um, and it covers the whole gamut of it. So I believe that's everything you need to know about Beach Cruiser bikes. If you have any other additional questions, please comment below or email us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And also, if you don't know what cruiser you're looking for, go to our website, 630.com, take our proprietary body fit quiz answer a few questions about your body and your life. In like under two minutes, you'll have the perfect bike recommended for you. Also, we have a test ride your bike policy for 30 days. If you don't love your bike within 30 days, send it back, no money out of your pocket, no questions asked. And lastly, before you purchase, if you wanna to talk to other riders, join our Facebook Peddlers group and download our app. Two great places to talk to everyone about Beach Cruiser bikes, what Beach Cruiser bike they're riding, how they like it, um, swap stories, and then after you purchase, post photos, join, uh, join the group, make friends, and you can start logging your rides on the app as well. It is a ton of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.